Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. If you guys are new, I hope you guys are here to stay and we can bond a little bit better through this video or the next few videos that I will be posting for you guys. A lot of people know that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but they don't know some of the other awarenesses that are in the month of October as well. There's Down Syndrome Awareness, there's uh, domestic violence awareness and that's just to name a couple within the month of October but the one that is closest to my heart would have to be and I'm not trying to downplay any other awareness I just want to put that out there um, this is just very close to my heart and that is pregnancy and infant loss um, there's one in four women that go through a loss like this and for some reason, it is a, a very taboo subject to talk about, considering the fact that it's so common and a lot of women go through it. I've been that statistic three times. I've been that one in four three different times, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. This video is more of an introduction of what is to come your way uh, the month of October. and. That is, I guess you can call it a series, I don't know. I want to tell you guys my stories, my baby stories. Well, I'm here to break the silence and I want you guys to break your silence if you are keeping it to yourself. Just know that you can leave your comments or follow me on social media and like, and email me privately and I will gladly listen to your stories or read them I guess. Grief is a never-ending cycle although some days are better than others it's still never great um, it just completely sucks and I want to take the time right now if you guys are here because you have gone through this whether it happened years ago, months ago, days ago you know wherever you are I'm very sorry for your loss and and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart because I know exactly how you feel. You know the reason that I think the subject is very taboo is because nobody wants to feel uncomfortable. The people listening may not know what to say or do to make you feel better and here's the thing, there is nothing they can say or do that will make this better. Um, they just don't want to feel uncomfortable because they can't make you feel better or they don't know what to say. And on the other, on the other side, a lot of us might feel they don't necessarily want to make others feel uncomfortable or I guess essentially be the Debbie Downer of the group or whatever but um, there is a pretty great community unfortunately I hate I really do hate that there is a community such as this one but there is and I feel like we should use it sometimes it feels good just to tell the story you know Unfortunately, I haven't had the privilege to tell my story from beginning to end, or stories, because I have three of them. Um, I haven't had the privilege to tell my stories from beginning to end, so I decided this will be the year. And I didn't even introduce myself, I just wanted to get into this video, but if this is your first time, my name is Karina, or I go by Carrie, and um... I have a four-year-old little boy and my husband. We've been married for eight years. Basically just welcome and I hope you're here to stay and I hope you're comfortable enough to share your story with us as well. I also wanted to say in this video that I have no clue. <laughs> Speaking of me not telling my stories from beginning to end, I have no 
clue how these videos are going to come out. I'm going to try my best to edit them as well as possible. I don't know if there's going to be sobbing for 30 minutes or if there's going to be no crying at all. Um, if there isn't, I don't want to seem... I don't want to come off as me being cold-hearted or anything like that. It's probably just because I'm a little bit more comfortable talking about it more. Again, I haven't told the story from beginning to end, but I have spoken briefly about it to certain people. So um, I've noticed that I can get through a little bit without bawling my eyes out like I used to. So um, we'll just see how it goes. Just bear with me, you guys. And I can't express this enough. I hope you guys feel comfortable enough to share if you can't share with anybody else. You know, I'm not a professional or anything, but I'm definitely here. My door is open to listen to your stories. Um, but the best advice I can give you is maybe go see a professional and just talk about it. I kept it silent for a long time. So this is the greatest advice I can give you and that is speak on it. Tell your story, tell your baby's story, you know. Whether your baby was eight weeks or a day before the delivery or after the delivery, that's your baby. Your baby mattered to you. And if you want to talk about it, you can talk about it. This is where I'm going to end this video. I don't know exactly how often I want to post the videos. If I want to post them back to back or have some different videos in between, I'm not 100% sure as of right now. But if you want to hear my stories, just be on the lookout for those videos. So um, thank you so much and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.